FNAF Ransomware, the newest subgenre of FNAF horror. However, unlike FNAF VHS, FNAF Analog Horror, and whatever else the internet has made, FNAF Ransomware is actually scary. So what is FNAF Ransomware and why is it starting to become very popular? Well, I will be answering all of your questions in this video, so before I start, make sure to subscribe if you love Finance at Freddy's. So before we can explain what FNAF Ransomware is, we need to understand what ransomware means and what it is in general. Ransomware, described by Google, is a type of malware that prevents a user from accessing their device or the data stored on it. It does this by encrypting the user's files, locking the computer, or stealing the data from it. Usually all this is caused by a group or individual, which will then demand a ransom to fix your device. Ransomware attacks are typically carried out using a Trojan disguised as a legitimate file. The user is tricked into downloading or opening the file when it arrives as an email or etc. So yeah, it's basically a virus that takes control of your computer, and the only way to fix it is to pay the ransom. There was also another very popular ransomware virus that was super popular a couple years ago, and it was the Jigsaw Ransomware. I'm sure probably some of you guys have seen this before. It features an image of Billy the Puppet from the Saw franchise, and gradually will delete your files until either everything is deleted or until the ransom is paid. It got very popular due to the creepy imagery and because of the way it was spread online. And with that example, you guys should now know a basic understanding of what ransomware is. Very simple to understand, right? Well, it should be, because another very popular horror subgenre came out from a very similar concept, those being the creepy anti-piracy videos. Now, if you don't know what those are, I'll quickly explain, as this and FNAF ransomware share a lot of characteristics that make them almost seem the same. Anti-piracy, or an anti-piracy screen, is a bug that appears when someone pirates or steals a video game. The purpose of these screens is to protect digital content from unauthorized copying or use. A very popular example is in the Super Mario 64 game, where if you pirated it, this screen will appear, where it says, it is a serious crime to copy video games according to copyright law. And there's some more unimportant stuff at the bottom, but yeah. Now these started to become very popular due to how unnerving it was to experience one of these screens as yourself, hence why many people started to make their own disturbing and creepy versions of these anti-piracy screens. So how is FNAF ransomware similar to anti-piracy? Well, because it's basically the same formula, just used as a different concept. All of the FNAF ransomware videos follow the same pattern, and we'll use the most popular FNAF ransomware video as an example, which is Five Nights at Seedy's. The video starts off with the user telling the audience that they found a free version of FNAF 1. As the user goes to open the game, for a split second a creepy version of Freddy can be seen, then we are given a warning that isn't at all what it looks like in FNAF 1. After the warning, we get put into the main menu screen, which looks very distorted and obviously bootleg. As the user clicks on play, instead of it saying night one, it says is sin. Then we are brought to the main office, where do I really need to explain that bro shouldn't be playing this game? I mean, just look at how bad it is. Like, you're obviously gonna get screwed if you play this. But anyways, the office can be seen getting visibly darker, but that's when the user opens the camera to see a really uncanny version of Freddy staring at them. And none of the other cameras cameras work either, so you're forced to stare at this nightmarish Freddy. As they close the cameras, the office is almost pitch black until the user gets jump scared by Freddy, but he has glowing eyes instead of the normal ones and just looks completely different. Shortly after that, a message pops up saying this, hey now, the game has a paid version, now we show you free download link Bitcoin. Then after that, more strange text appears along with a bible quote and then their computer shuts off. Shortly after, the computer reboots and then this is seen. This is the ransomware screen, very similar to the anti-piracy screens. And then that's the whole video. Pretty creepy, right? Yeah, I think so at least. This video is one of the most popular FNAF ransomware videos on YouTube right now, and to my knowledge, is one of the first. It got a lot of backlash for the use of AI images, because that's what created all those very unnerving and uncanny images of Freddy. Many people complained about the use of it, but to be honest, I think it really made the images look more creepy and uncanny than if it was just edited images. AI has that very specific look, where it tends to make things look very unsettling and just unnatural, which I think it did an amazing job at in this video. Another YouTuber by the name of Genesis already made a full in-depth video explaining this ransomware video in particular, so if you want more info on this specific video, feel free to check it out after this one. But yeah, now these are basically how all these ransomware videos go. The user shows a pirated version of a FNAF game, creepy stuff happens, and then they get the ransomware virus. There is a lot of these videos coming out as of recent, and they are all fairly creepy. This one I'm about to show you genuinely gave me goosebumps and is the whole reason I made this video. 
because I don't ever get scared and this video made me have goosebumps so that is saying something. Now this comes from the ransomware video FNAF 2 Free Edition and I won't show the full video only the part that scared me but the video link is in the description if you want to watch it afterwards. Also you might want to turn your volume down for this part. Yeah, I don't know, man. When I first saw this, I literally got goosebumps all over my body, and, like, I've never been that creeped out before. I don't know, like, why it scared me, but, yeah, it, <laughs> I don't know. But, yeah, I'm sure you guys get the point, and I don't think I need to show any more examples. So, that brings me to ask the question that I'm sure all of you guys are wondering right now. Is FNAF ransomware real? Where did it start? And so on. Well, I do have the answers, so just let me explain. FNAF ransomware isn't real. Just like how the custom anti-piracy screens aren't, FNAF VHS and FNAF Analog Horror isn't, and so on. It's all just a series of creepy videos made to look real, which I'd say some do a very good job at. But these videos are based on something that is also very similar, which I won't get into right now because I already made another video about it last week. But I will give a quick explanation in a minute here. But there is one more thing more important than that that we need to talk about when it comes to these videos. I did find very sketchy websites that had some very sketchy download links to apps with names similar to the ones these videos have. Now did I click them? Nah, I ain't even gonna go anywhere near them. So did these links have the actual games? Well, I don't know. All I know is to please be careful when looking online for these videos. If you can, please just stay on YouTube and watch them there. This should be obvious, but please don't go clicking random links to look for said videos. Because who knows what it can do. You might stumble upon one of these links that are very sketchy and God knows what it'll take you to or what it'll download onto your computer. Obviously, these ransomware videos aren't real, but that doesn't mean a copycat isn't going to come along and make their own ransomware out of these. So, as I said, please be safe. That's how you'll accidentally download the FNAF 2 Stingray virus. And talking about that, let me explain more about how that relates to these FNAF ransomware videos. FNAF 2 Stingray is a virus that acts the same as these ransomware viruses do, where when you download it, it will supposedly act like the normal FNAF 2. But then when you complete the game, it will do something deadly. But what is that exactly? Well, if you want to learn more about it, then you'll have to watch the video which is available on screen right now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and please be safe out there, and make sure to check out this video for more information on FNAF 2 Stingray. Because unlike FNAF Ransomware, FNAF 2 Stingray is real and can absolutely destroy your device, PC, or whatever you're playing it on. And if you accidentally stumble upon the app, you can lose all your personal information and data, and it can quite literally ruin your life. So if you really don't want that to happen to you, make sure to watch the video. <laughs>